If you find a cookie under your doormat, call the police. In the U.S., one burglary happens every 18 seconds. This means that there are 200 break-ins every hour. Let's go further. Every day, Americans suffer the consequences of 4,800 criminals entering their homes. Aren't those startling statistics? It takes an experienced burglar between 90 seconds and 12 minutes to take everything they need and leave a house. Even more surprisingly, 28% of all break-ins happen when at least one member of the family is at home. And what about the arrest rate for this type of crime in the U.S.? Unfortunately, it's pretty low. Just 13%. But as you very well know, forewarned is forearmed. In this video, you'll learn what to do if you spot a cookie under your doormat, what white pebbles on your driveway mean, and what measures you can take to avoid becoming the victim of an offender. But before you start watching, click the red subscription button and turn on notifications if you haven't done so yet. There are numerous useful videos on the bright side of life, and you'll be the first to learn about daily updates. You've probably heard that when a burglar decides which house to target, they start by casing it. This means that they watch the owners, find out information about their routine, and determine the best time for entering their home. By the time they are ready to commit the crime, they already know for sure when there won't be anybody inside or when the owners will be distracted. One of the tricks thieves use to gather information about your routine is so simple that you may not even give it a second thought. But the next time you hear a quiet crackle under the sole of your shoe, stop and check what it was. The chances are high that you'll find yourself face to face with a crushed cookie. If that's the case, it's your clue that something has gone terribly wrong. The thing is, this is a rather effective tool criminals use to find out if you've left on a trip or when exactly you come home in the evening. A cookie is such an innocent object that people don't usually give it much thought, if they even notice it at all. You arrive home, step on the cookie, make it crumble, and automatically reveal all your secrets to the burglars. They know for sure if the house is lived in and can also figure out the schedule of its owners. Things get even worse if you are away from home. The cookie under the doormat remains whole, thus alerting criminals that the house is perfect for a break-in. So if you find some treats under your doormat, that's pretty bad news. Somebody is interested in your house and watching it. It might be a good idea to notify the police or take some safety measures. We'll tell you about those a bit later. The ploy with a cookie is just one of the numerous tricks used by burglars. One more sign that can alert you of the fact that you're being watched is white pebbles left near the house or in the driveway. This means that a criminal has already visited your home and marked it as worth entering. Another reason why thieves may have left the pebbles is to indicate that your house stays empty during the day. Also, pay attention to any flyers stuck in a bunch in your entrance door. Besides being extremely annoying, they are also potentially dangerous. There are two reasons why burglars may leave this stuff in your door. They mark your daily routine, and they also mark houses that are empty at the moment. In addition, Flyers sticking out of the door serve as a flag for fellow burglars. They indicate that a house isn't guarded and that it's all too easy to get inside. One more thing that helps criminals check if a house or apartment is empty at that moment is something as innocuous as a simple match, a hair, or a piece of thread. Burglars fix these to the door in a way that makes it easy to determine if somebody has entered the house. When you open the door, the practically invisible match falls to the ground. But if the thieves come back and find their tell in place, it means that the owners haven't opened the door in quite some time. Conclusion? They are away. Every time you return home, 
Make it a habit to check your entrance door and the keyhole. If there are spots of dirt or scratches around the keyhole, criminals may have been trying to pick the lock. And if there are bizarre signs drawn on your door, erase them immediately. This is how criminals pass along information about the house to their accomplices. Walk around the house to make sure there are no broken windows. Some criminals throw a stone at a window to see what will happen. Does the house have an alarm that will go off immediately? Perhaps there will be a curious neighbor peeking from behind the bushes. Or maybe the crash of glass will startle a dog inside the house. In such cases, a potential burglar can pretend to be a simple hooligan and flee. What precautions can you take to secure your home and narrow down the chances that somebody will choose it as a target for a break-in? Be secretive. When you are planning to go away on a vacation, it's natural that you want the whole world to share your happiness. However, broadcasting your vacation plans may not be the wisest move. Be cautious of social media. You won't believe how many criminals today use it to gather information about potential victims. Don't post any details about your holiday plans on Facebook or Instagram. If you're eager to share your amazing photos from the beach, do it after you return home. Or you could try regularly expressing gratitude to your house sitter, even if you have none. Check your privacy settings every time you post something when you're away from home. It's all too simple for a thief to figure out that your house is empty at the moment if you're writing on Twitter that there are huge lines in the mall on Black Friday. Build up a network. Get to know your neighbors. If you create a community, it will be much harder for thieves to conduct their criminal activity. Every time you go away, inform your neighbors. Ask them to text or call you if they noticed anything suspicious going on around your house. You can do the same for them next time they go on a trip. Create the impression that there's somebody at home, even when you are away. There are several things that can discourage burglars from breaking into your home. First of all, use the TV and radio. Leave them on when you're going away. The sound of voices will most likely scare criminals away. Another thing that may help you is to keep some lights on in the house. Not only will it hint that somebody is at home, but it will also mean that thieves can be easily identified. No criminal will want to risk being recognized. If you're going to be away for a long period of time, connect several lamps to automatic timers. This way, they will switch on when it gets dark and go off during the day. Make sure somebody comes to pick up the mail and look after your lawn. One of the most obvious telltale signs that the owners of a house have gone away is a pile of newspapers and mail mounting up at the front door. Ask somebody, a neighbor, a relative, or a friend to stop by regularly and pick up any accumulated correspondence. If there's nobody who can do you this favor, place your mail on hold. You can do this at your local post office. Another thing that can give away your prolonged absence is an unkempt lawn with tall grass. So, before going away, hire somebody to mow your lawn regularly and keep the lawn tidy. We hope that these tips will help you out when you need to go away and leave your home for a long period of time. Do you know any other recommendations for how to keep your place protected? Tell us in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button to stay safe and happy on the Bright Side of Life.